friends, Ms. Espinosa here, reporting live from my classroom. Today I'm going to be sharing just a few resources that I really love and use in my classroom for small group and independent work, specifically for CVC words and sight words. So I have some things laid out that I'm going to walk you through. I'm going to start off by sharing my favorite sight word resource. And all of the resources that I'm going to share today, I will, of course, link in the description. And these are all resources that you can get from Teachers Pay Teacher. For my sight words, when I was teaching pre-K, we didn't necessarily have a list. I just went ahead and purchased a pre-primer sight word book bundle from Lavinia Pop. And these are the words that it includes. It's 40 of them. So now that I am in kinder, what I did was make a list of the 50 high frequency words that my students are expected to learn so that I can still use this material. And what I did is basically print out all of the material. So I have it here in a binder. It's just ready to pull out whenever I'm ready to make copies. So based on that list, I made this little sight word chart and these are the first 25 words that I teach my kids. So this is what it looks like now that it's organized. This is the little cover page. And of course, the first word I teach them is A. And I have the book here. When you print it, it's like three pages and then you cut it in half and it's about six pages. But I already have everything in order. So like I said, I bought the books. I did purchase all of this separately. So they have to trace the sight word and write it down. On the next page, it's a little more interactive. They trace it, write it, color it, and stamp it. And then they love this last sheet where I always give them dab markers and they love dabbing the sight words. So those are like my three activities plus the book and it's really nice that they could take the book home. I also just want to quickly show you what I keep in my little small group caddy. It's a little disorganized since, you know, I don't have kids in the classroom right now. But I always make sure that I have my copies of the books just ready to go. So for example, this is the word C and I love just making everything as colorful as I can, as visual as I can. So we read it, we color it. Yeah, this is what the little printable book looks like. And it's just awesome that they get to take it home. They keep it in their little book bag, but these they can take home. And these are the dab markers, which these are the same dab markers I've had since my first year of teaching. I also just make sure to have, well, these are dry erase markers that they use just for small group. And these little whiteboards, so when they come to my table and we review sight words, they can quickly do that. Or if I'm walking around making sure everyone else is settled while they're waiting for me to go to the small group table, then they can just practice by themselves as well. So when I'm introducing this to my kids, we do read the book together at the table and then I show them how to complete each page. And it typically takes them about 20 minutes to complete all of these three little sheets. So if they are done, I go ahead and have some more games available for them. I'm a big fan of Play-Doh to Play-Doh and she has a 30 sight word editable game that I purchased. So I'm gonna show you a couple of ones that I like. So she has these little sheets, which again, it's editable. So I had already printed these sheets with the words on them and a little hack that I figured out for myself just so I don't have to reprint these sheets was just to get some masking tape and put the new words on there. And I like to use the Lakeshore magnetic letters and also what I typically do, and I know it's a little more prep time, but I go ahead and just find all the letters and I put them in bags for them so that they have just the letters that they need and so that I have enough letters for, you know, the rest of my groups. So that's one activity that they do, build it and write it. And I just wanna mention that if you happen to not have any magnetic letters, I do have these alphabet letter tiles on my Teachers Pay Teachers for free. The idea I was thinking of is if you want a child to have just one set of the alphabet, uppercase and lowercase, you could print off this page. And I also have one exactly like this, but then the vowels are red which is my preference. These are, this is another set you could possibly print off with the uppercase and lowercase if you want a class set. And then at the end, I also just have a sheet where it's just the vowels and 
I printed this at school so it's not in color. Otherwise, all of the vowels would be red. So that's just an idea if you, again, don't have any magnetic letters. Another one of the editable games from that Play-Doh to Play-Doh editable sight word set are these little eggs. What I thought about when I happened to purchase this, it was around Easter. So I wanted to reuse these um, eggs. So what I did was that I put the magnetic letters inside so my kids love this. So they have to crack the letter open. And so for example, they have to unscramble it and that's the word and. So they just match it. The cleanup might be a little pain. You do have to teach them how to clean up properly so they're not getting all of the letters mixed up in different eggs. But that's a fun game. She also has like these little themed mats. So this one is like outer space. So I have some erasers and some stars. And I just went ahead and printed it and I just wrote those in with Sharpies. And then these little dinosaurs, of course, kids just love any kind of manipulative. So these little dinosaurs I found at Target a while ago for like a dollar. But that's one of the games that they play. Another sight word activity that also happens to be from Lavinia Pop are these sight word sentence scrambles. You can give them one or two sheets at a time depending on the student, how fast the student is. Typically takes about 20 minutes for my students to complete a cutting activity and 15 to 20 minutes is what our work center length is. So since these are numbered, I put them inside of a Ziploc bag and I give them about eight of these. So for example, the first student would get one through eight in a Ziploc bag and you can give them like a tray or you can give them a pocket chart so they can rearrange the sentence. But I really like um, just using a, a little tray that I got from the dollar store and I put magnetic tape on the back of the cards and kids just love <laughs> magnetic manipulatives. And the way that they record it, there are two recording sheets. So you can actually make like a booklet. And then these are the recording sheets. And this is another recording sheet that I actually just went ahead and made my own little cover. So I give, I will give my gifts this. So this will be like the front cover and just a bunch of copies of these so that when they build their sentence and cut it out, they put it here and then they write it because it's very important for them to practice leaving a space between their words. That's really what I focus on because they're able to copy the sentences. It's always gonna take kids a little while to cut, so the expectation is for them to at least do two sentences. But again, since I give them a bag of eight, they can do more than that. It's plenty of work for those 20 minutes of center time. And these last activities I wanna share are for CVC words. So I start teaching my students CVC words once they know all of their consonants. Vowels are really tricky, so I kind of, I leave those for the end. So we always start off with letter A. I really love these little booklets and this is actually the size of them. So you would cut them and each little booklet would have six little pages. So that's one way to do it, but it is a little bit more prep having to cut these and staple them, but it's really neat. So for this activity, I actually introduce it whole group and then we work on it in small group or independently. There's letters that come with this set so the kids can either cut out the letter tiles or they can stamp them. These are my hard copies for all of these little CVC word booklets. So again, it's just a preference. Um, when I first got it, I did do the booklets, but then I learned a little trick that <laughs> saves paper. And when you are printing a PDF file, you can print out two pages in one page. So that's what I do. And then I just cut them in half and they the kids paste it in their notebook and they use stamps. But I really love this because it has, it just has a ton of practice with CVC words. So that's one CVC activity and it is from the MoFat Girls. So in order to get that CVC fluency, I also really like these mats that are from the Printable Princess, and she also has a ton of these. I'm just showing an example for each of the vowels. 
but they would read it, they can trace it, and then they can make it with magnetic letters as well. So once my kids really start getting the hang of CVC words, I also purchased these and these are from a teachable teacher and this is the original size little print phone but again it's just a lot of paper so I went ahead and printed these out two per page and it's just really awesome because it has sight words and their CVC words so this was just like a perfect addition to the work centers and this is kind of an assessment activity and this is from Marceline Attard but this is just like a medley of a bunch of sight words so we do this in small group and the kids also do it independently and again print it out two per page but that's it friends those are just some of the activities that I really love and use in my classroom for CVC words and for sight words if you have some really awesome resources that you use please share in the comments and you can also just let me know if you want to see examples of other resources that I use in my classroom. I will say though that for letter recognition and for beginning sound, we have a special school method that we implement that I'm not allowed to share, but it's so awesome. And I hope to share it with you guys in the future, but I digress. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful to you. I know a lot of times teachers walk into classrooms and they don't have any materials. That was definitely me. I've, I've had to find my own resources for all of this skill-based work. But again, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and share, like my video if it was helpful to you, and I'll see you in my next video.